But how dragonfly get more insect? This is the Cabin for Game Retro Yu-Gi-Oh! Podcast. I'm Bragg. I'm here with uh, this guy. Hi. His name's Logan. Uh, Snake right on Twitch. Yeah. Hey, you remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's going to do Look some what happens when Ben doesn't He's going to do some Master Duel content three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't go up. <laughs> Otherwise. Are we here to talk about Order of Chaos? Uh, now, this isn't a week to the day because uh, someone, whoever did the schedule of this, uh, really stuffed up and thought it was Galactic Overlord and totally plugged Galactic Overlord in the last uh, video. But it's neither here nor there. <laughs> Did we plug Galactic Overlord in the last one? I yeah. feel like we plugged Order of Chaos. No, nah, I'm pretty sure I said Galactic Overlord at the end. Nobody yeah, expects yeah. the Spanish Inquisition! <laughs> We're back with Galactic Overlord. Um, 22nd of February, I reckon. Okay. Before we get there, prediction? Mm-hmm. Good set or bad set? Just have a think about it. Huh. As in, I know for a fact. So you messed up twice? Me? No, the person who scheduled it did. So you messed up twice? Yeah. Uh, so... Autocaus is actually a pretty big set, so I'm kind of glad we are doubling back on it yeah. and um, having a look at it. Uh, you you were here, yeah, like alive, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, alive. yeah. You were physically alive yeah. at the point of 2012. I played, I played when Auto Chaos came out. I do not remember this sneak peek. Uh, the sneak peek card was oh. Zector Hawk uh, in Zector Axe. Now I, oh, that's the axe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I, the ultra rare copies are definitely in my binder, so like I definitely played the pre-release. I remember playing that card because I couldn't get a hand on sword for like the first event of Injectors, <laughs> and it was bad. <laughs> so there was uh, one person our locals was trying to build Injectors. Uh, well, not trying. Would, there was a couple. I think, I think there was a few younger people trying to play, and one person who actually knew what they were doing, trying to get the pieces. And then, had, like Chris, and there was one myself. person just sitting on their Hornet. There was like so little Hornets getting around. Yeah. And so, and that is the big takeaway from this set is the Insector cards. Uh, yeah. Insector, Dragonfly, Centipede, and Hornet were all in this set, mm-hmm. plus uh, Gigamanus, which. Yeah. Pretty much any good Insector card you're looking for was in this set. Oh. Uh, La- Ladybug. Any. <laughs> okay. Yeah! Shut up. <laughs> you yeah, played like, um... maybe one or two Ladybug, right? You played the rest of this at three. Three Hornets, three Dragonfly, three Centipede. Yeah. Like. This was a set to play Insectors, and it was a meta changing set. Yeah. For the meta. Like, he had Insectors, he had Tour Guide come out, which we'll get into a bit later. Um, Wait, no, Tour Guide's already been out. No, Tour Guide came out in Order of Chaos. No, it didn't. I swear it did. Tour Boss is in this set. Tour Boss is in this set. I'm tapped. Yeah. No, I've no, no. lost my mind. Nah, no, no. Tour Guide was, uh. You're right. I'm. I'm, I'm Tour, Tour Boss is not meta relevant. Not meta relevant. That card sucks. Yeah, so that was a TCG exclusive they announced for this, and it had a big article going, Oh, yeah, so since Sangen's on its way out, why not use Tour Bus? No. And no one used Tour Bus. No one used... You just played three Tour Guide, and you just went, Well, I'll get another Tour Guide. Uh, yeah, actually, that's... That's super strange. I don't remember... Surely there was one list with Tour Bus in it. No, because Tour Bus is garbage. I can't even remember what Tour Bus does. So, Insectors came out with, like... Really good control and able to set up a Z mains in defense mode to for mm. like to solidify that control and then push for an OTK a few further t- like a few further uh, turns later. For point of reference, uh, so there was a YCS played just after the set released. Uh, Tool Bus was played in six of the top sixteen decks. There we go. The, the Konami uh, blog does not lie. I'm justified then. I'm justified. I'll go back to my first stance. Tool Bus, great card. <laughs> That is pretty relevant for the format that they're in. Four wind-up decks, one Insector deck, one Dino Rabbit deck. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so wind-ups. They get Rat well, and they get Zed Mighty. Yeah. <laughs> There's one thing here that's important. <laughs> so, yeah, wind-ups weren't really doing much. They had, uh, they didn't have Rabbit yet, They but Rabbit wasn't really for them. Um, Rabbit's not really that sort of play style Hunter. playing. So they have wind up Hunter already, and a few of the other pieces. Mm. And yeah, getting Rat and getting Zen Mighty, huge. That deck was absolutely insane. It was not fun to play against. Yeah, it's. I only played it for a couple of locals, like because mm. eventually I just sort of accrued all the pieces. I was really trying with Insectors and going all right with them, mm. and Dark Worlds, which we'll get to. Oh, uh, I want to get there. So. And then going, oh, okay, I've got enough of the Insector pieces now. I'm going to try it. Mm. And then, yeah, just look like... Never looked back. Yeah. Rat loop, like hand looping for three, maybe four. 
Yeah. I think there's a way to get to four. Yeah. You need an extender to get to four, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was not, like, not fair. Um, no, actually, it's really not in that format where, like, hand resources and, like, what's really important. Like, nowadays, yeah, loot for three, I have three more cards. That's my one card style is fine. Yeah. Or like, you discard, it's burning a miss, you go, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, the only deck that could really play through it was Dino Rabbit if they opened Rabbit and didn't get discarded. Uh, on the side of this set is the Evolsaurs and uh, and the Ninjas, both of which didn't really do too much. Blade Armor Ninja came up a little bit. I feel like they were two deck, like two archetypes, that everyone wanted to make work, but just they never had enough gas or pieces that were strong enough to be that sort of thing. You had like the Hanzo, White Dragon, yeah. kind of safe zone, or safeguard I think it's called, loop. Yeah. Like, that came up a few times in some cheese decks, but it wasn't, like, a meta-relevant thing. And Evil Swords, like, the best thing that came out of the Evil Swords was the XEs. Like, uh, in Zach, that's right, Insecta Hopper was a... Oh, Insecta Hopper was a bloody a TCG exclusive as well. So was that White Dragon Ninja, which we thought might tilt the scales more towards ninjas, but it didn't. In a planetary enough. purple thorny dragon, wasn't good. <laughs> uh, and there, yeah, some more Evil... Like, Evil Soul... Evolza? Evolza? I think it's Evolza. Thanks, Director. Koala Koala is in this set. Seb, thoughts? How for the koala deck? Good chat, good chat, good chat, good chat. And MX Saber Invoker was an import. That card's relevant. Yes. Huge. Absolutely huge. Oh, that card. It wasn't really. It didn't really move much in the beginning. I think that's the thing with these orders. It was like, a, oh, I got a fifty dollars fifty dollar secret. Ugh. Ugh. But like, there's a few cards in this set where it's like, oh, they weren't that cool. They weren't that good or great at their time. Jump to ten years later, they're banned or they're like, oh, that card's super strong. Yeah. Like, yeah. Which so you say uh, so for our hidden gems, Invoker. Invoker's there. I, I when was Invoker? When did that come up as relevant? Uh, another Goki format Zoo format Three Axis um, Did three it come up warrior. earlier than that? Uh, well, I could swear Zoo format was probably when it first became yeah. relevant uh, Another hidden gem for me at least at the moment in uh, my Paleo my Paleo XE's festival deck uh, Huge Revolution is over I <laughs> played that card as a kid because I was like I don't know I think it came out in 2012 I don't have Starlight Road so never mind I think the set came out in 2012 right? yeah yeah so this is like just kind of just before I'm getting into like competitive play I pulled like a huge revolution is over I played that card I was like why not? it's trash <laughs> but um I think like Tour Guide it's not a hidden gem because it like immediately found play but the way it kind of continued to evolve and adapt as a card that's played yeah in, from like the format it was in Tour Bus did nothing. So I just wanted to be clear. We just, we just like does play. does nothing now. It played that one event, but I can't imagine it played much after that. No. Yeah. Not much <laughs> I was gonna say. Yeah, so like I I did not remember it. So I guess people just gave it that go and just didn't really I mean it is kinda of interesting that it performed like that in the one event and then fell off yeah. again. Wonder why. Uh Trans Archfiend uh, was a, another hidden gem for me that kind of carried Dark Worlds to their only oh, yeah. YCS win and you loved your Dark Worlds I did yeah. uh, the super simple graphers like was so free and yeah Trance kind of pushed that in that direction and gave them another normal summon that they were a little bit lacking didn't Dark World danger FTK top? Um, like win or YCS? I don't know but for context earlier on the MX Saber Invoker question uh, it took a year before it found prevalence there we go. That's a hidden gem in my eyes. Only a year. What did it come in a uh, year? So it came out in this set. Uh, one deck that topped at the end of February played it in a wind-up list. Then it didn't see another top for another year. In a wind-up list? What was the top after a year? Uh, wind-ups again. Uh, and then... I do think I kind of remember being in wind-ups. Yeah, it, after that it was just widespread once Medulce releases. Oh, so oh, I knew there was a deck! <laughs> Medulce... I hate that. Medulce, ew. Uh, so yeah, those are probably my hidden gems. Uh, I tend to agree with you. I think like the, um, the Evolza XCs could have been hidden gems. Like they didn't really have a prevalent thing 
until... Well, I'm, no, I'm the totally only, lying. They the, just use Mega Man Dino Rabbit, of course. Uh, the only one in this set is Solver. Yeah, the bad ones are in this set. Yeah, yeah. when is the, the one Am before? I just remembering Order of Chaos completely wrong? Yeah, you're, you're like conflating I'm Order of Chaos with, with the whole, whole previous, previous year. year. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, shit set, yeah. really. <laughs> shit set. <laughs> Releases like Turn six around. very Just powerful cards. Absolutely heal in the set. Um, yeah, so Solar absolutely sucks. Probably one of the worst cards of the set. Uh, Insector so Ant, not even Insector worst Ant sucks. The oh, Photon Thrash is in this. That's a hidden gem. Yeah, there you I go. Think, <laughs> as a warrior player at heart, that's a hidden gem. I play that still. You can play like one players. We play it all the time. Yeah, one, like, two, three, seven, seven. Seven. You play seven. You play six if you want to see it. Yeah. You play two because you want to see it some of the time, but not all the time. I completely forgot this set has Shoctopus. <laughs> this card is sick! Do you want to read it out so the rest yeah, of Yeah, I will. But it's all about the artwork, really. And just the. Um, <laughs> also, I really like Sharktopus at the time, the movie. I probably still do like Sharktopus. <laughs> 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 When this card is destroyed by battle, with an opponent's monster sent. With an opponent's monster and sent to the gra graveyard. Oh, by a battle with an opponent's monster sent to the graveyard. You can equip this card to the opponent's monster, change that attack to zero, and it can't change its battle position. I wanted Huge! To I wanted to talk so much smack then when you couldn't read the card, but I was like, I couldn't remember half the set, so I'm not going to talk any smack. Our Go 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 Giant was also pretty cute too. Someone was looking at for that Lo uh, locally. Go Go G Giant? Oh, yeah, can you play it in like um, Rock Deck? Yeah. And yeah, the uh, the ninjas. Okay, so I've already said my crappy card. Darkstorm was interesting. I can't even say Newman Arat Testudo, which I'm sure is something backwards, but I'm not going to figure that out. I just want to say Tour Bus was trash because it was so overhyped. Oh my god, he's just wailing on Tour Bus. It's trash though. Is like, that Orb sucked? Ben nods, it was trash. Part of my past is I once uh, was like looking for nice looking tour guides. And, and I was like, fuck, this tour guide's really cheap. And I bought it. It was a, tour it was a bus. <laughs> no! <laughs> I bought a first end secret bus <laughs> for like <laughs> 10 bucks. And I was like, this is a fucking bargain for this tour guide. Actually, I don't know why I'm laughing. I had a similar thing with the Dasher I saw. I saw a Grand Dasher going up auction. I was like, oh, no one's bidding on this. Hell yeah, one of the $2. dollars it's Korean. Oh. <laughs> Feels bad. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> just how it be. I'm missing on. Point of the story is Yu-Gi-Oh players don't read. <laughs> nope. It's true. Yeah. Uh, Zen Myo was weird in this set that it comes up eventually, like in a few rank five decks, but. For, uh, for wind ups, wind -ups. no, nothing. It's so crazy that the two like the two wind up XEs like Zen Mayo and Zen Mighty. Hmm. Um, no, Zen Mains. Sorry, don't don't do anything for the deck, really. No, oh, no, yeah, you're right. Sweet corns in this. Good old sweet corn. Thing. I think sweet corn. Uh, sweet corn was an import, so it's like where they do those random team ups with like food, huh. like the potato chips and Danny Pond. Uh, Vampire Koala, which is now known as Vampiric Koala. Pretty cool. Can't, can't, have to have that errata. Can't, I, vampires can't be too broken. If you've been listening for this long and you got to there, that's a fun fact for you. I hope that's what you take away from this podcast. Is there a drinking with a new name? Ooh. Yeah, for Vampiric Koala. Yeah. It was in the same set as Scotchman. Uh, I don't know, surely it's in like, the vampire set. Before we move on to what we think the best card is, which we can both agree. Royal Prison. Will this card ever be good? Continuous trap. Neither player can special summon monsters from the graveyard. Yeah. That will card it, be good one. Will day. it ever be good? I'm sitting on so many, and I've yet to find a format where I want to risk it. I feel like you could just, if Inferno, if Grass comes back and Inferno ever do something. Maybe. Royal Prison. Yeah, maybe. Ben nods. Royal Prison. It has to do something eventually. Anyway. It stops snow. He's trying to sell it now. Let's up it. It stops snow, guys. Stop snow. Go, go, go. Through the roof. So, my top three. My third place would be Dragonfly. Sure. What's you yours? Can be, you can be wrong about that. It's Hornet. You say, so you have Hornet at three? Hornet at three. Okay, yeah. yeah. What's your two? Hornet. No, oh, Dragonfly. 
Okay. <laughs> Dragonfly is like literally the best card in the set. But my number one is Cutie. What's your number one? No, you go first. My number one's one of Shark. That's okay. Tall bus. <laughs> <laughs> In, when you want it, when you think he's gonna zig, he zags. <laughs> nah, I think realistically, I think Dragonfly is the number one. I just think the Insector deck is like pretty much what makes this set. Nah, wind ups, man. Wind up shark, so good. Shark is and pretty good. So cute. Yeah, Look at that little face. I do love. I was looking at wind up shark the other day. Actually, it is a really nice looking art. Uh, and wind up rat will probably be somewhere in my top ten. I think I like rat more than rat. shark. Really? I think shark does more. But I like Rat more. That's fair. But yeah, so there's our top cards of the set. There's that, there's that. We are back with Legend of Blue Eyes in... I don't know, a couple We're really jumping all over the place, aren't we? Yeah. Go from Order of Chaos to Legend of Blue Eyes. Yeah, okay, yeah, because... So... Oh yeah, we haven't gone 20 years back. So that'll be... When we release it, we'll be on the 20 year anniversary of Legend of Blue Eyes. So that's going to be pretty big. Um, like yeah. I'll actually do the research on that one. Hope to see you there. Goodbye. Four bucks.